How are you doing? My name is David Huey, and today I will be giving my speech on the history of traffic lights. Here's my speaking outline, and here's my wonderful audience. Thank you guys for coming today. John P. Knight, to anyone, does that name ring a bell? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But his invention, created in 1868, hands down revolutionize the safety of society. What am I talking about, you may ask? I'm talking about the invention of the traffic light. Now I'm sure at some point in time where you guys were driving on the road, having fun, you either got stopped by a red light or sped through it. Now I myself have been stopped by multiple red lights, sped through green lights, and coasted through yellow lights. And through my, through my large number, through my research, through my research of the traffic light, have become an avid fan of it. The traffic light has have made significant changes over time, from arms to lamps, from lamps to LED lights, and from two lights to three lights. Today, I will first tell you how the traffic light originated, and second, how the traffic light has changed over time. Now that I've been introduced you to the traffic light, let's start on how the traffic light came into existence. The first traffic light was produced before any cars were on the road. Now how, you might ask, what were they created for? Who were they created for? The first traffic light was created for the railways, railway systems. Because of all the accidents that happened during, during that time in the 18, late 1800s, the man John P. Knight came up with an invention to slow down the railway systems. It consisted of a lamp post with two arms, one saying stop and one saying go, to let the trains know when they can come by. Um, at night, it consisted of a lamp. One lamp was green and the other lamp was red for, you know, stop and go. They were also used for horse-drawn carriages. They, this, this, this invention has came around from railways to horse-drawn carriages because of the fact that it, it, also, it also affected pedestrians because pedestrians will walk across the street while the horse drawn carriages are coming and that caused major accidents. So the traffic light was then again revolutionized to stop and start. The first traffic light was put on street corners in 1920. They were controlled by police officers and it was the end of the British traffic system. It was the end of the British traffic system because, like I said before, it was controlled by police officers. The police officer would press a button for either the stop, the stop, the stop handle, or the go handle. And then again, the the invention didn't work. The the device of the traffic light blew up on the police officer, and that was the end of the British traffic system. The first traffic light was patented in 1910 by a man named Ernest Serene in Chicago. There was no light, so it was limited use. The first electric light was patented in 1917 by a man named William Gilgerling. Now that I have talked to you about the traffic how the traffic light was invented. Let's touch on how it transformed over time. The traffic light has changed in appearance, in appearance, lighting, and position with intersections. Traffic lights have changed from two lights to a three light system. The original traffic light was just green and red. But a police officer by the, way, by the name of William Smith has changed it and he brought in the yellow light. In 1920, the third light came about, which was the yellow. The lighting on the traffic system has changed over time. The lighting started off dim in the traffic system. The lighting started off dim, and it was hard for drivers or horse-drawn carriages or trains to see at night. So they came up with a solution, LED lights. What are LED, LED lights, you might ask? LED lights are the brightest lights you can have. They are 10 times brighter than a regular bulb. And for colorblind people, colorblind people can see, can see them better. 
they have they have mixed colors within them so that so that when uh so then when people are driving the green light appears to be blue and the blue light doesn't affect their eyes so they know it means go and the position of the traffic light has changed from ground to air the first traffic the first traffic lights were planted in the ground the second traffic lights were hanging from lamp posts and now they are hanging by telephone lines and in conclusion Traffic lights have made significant changes over time, from arms to lamps, from lamps to LED lights, from two lights to three lights. Today I have told you how the traffic light originated, and second, how the traffic light has changed over time. Next time you were stopped by or even passed through a traffic light, you would know how you would know the hard work and time it took to perfect it and have more appreciation for the revolutionary lifesaver.